today I'm going to make sodium perchlorate based electrolyte for a sodium ion battery. Here's my sodium perchlorate. Yesterday I put some of that into a bottle that was covered with a porous wipe and secured so that I could dry it with the vacuum antechamber on its side to increase the surface area. This provides a more dry, water-free salt to add to my electrolyte. So the first step, I'm going to measure out my solvents. I'll use a glass flask, partly to see the progress of mixing and also so that this video will allow you to see the salt dissolving. Turn on my balance. And the solvents I'm using are standard for sodium ion battery electrolyte. I'm using propylene carbonate, which is already a liquid. And I'm using ethylene carbonate, which is mostly solid at room temperature. The ethylene carbonate I'll need to melt so that I can use it. That will need to be heated on this hot plate. Its melting temperature isn't very high, but it's also supposed to be a bit temperature sensitive, as it says on the label. So I'm going to set it to 45 degrees. And in a little while, I should be able to see some of the EC melted that I'll be able to use. For now, I'm going to weigh out four grams of liquid propylene carbonate, or PC, to which I will later add the liquid EC. the pressure changes in the glove box might be affecting my balance. So I will try to conduct this weighing without hearing the pressure changing too much on the glove box. As you can see, one milliliter pipetted of the PC gives me a weight somewhere right now 1.2 grams. I've also measured it at about 1.14 grams. I like to use weight ratios instead of volume ratios for greater accuracy.
that's pretty good. I usually accept a little bit extra to account for the evaporation that'll occur. I can cover this to try to reduce evaporation until my EC is melted and ready to add. Not much came out. Four grams will be considerably less than four milliliters. You can see that some of the EC is actually freezing onto the side as I pour it in because it goes back to solid once it reaches room temperature. All right, I'm gonna weigh out my salt next. So I'm just gonna place solvents aside. They won't be disturbed. And I like to weigh out my salt onto parafilm first. I'll take my salt that I dried overnight. This is straight sodium perchlorate directly from the manufacturer's package that has been in a vacuum overnight. I want to weigh out 0.79 grams. If I get slightly more, then I have this intermediate container. I don't have to worry as much about cross-contamination. It looked like my pressure had changed right before I did that, so I'm going to redo that. cap this to prevent further contamination. Carefully move this off the scale. And because I am clumsy and tend to drop salt, when I weigh it in, I'll have a wipe to catch spillage.
So that's an electrolyte after it's been mixed. Generally, this just involves using a magnetic stir. I want this to be cool to the touch. I don't have it too hot right now, so I don't want to heat up the mixture more than absolutely necessary. I'll use a regular old magnetic stir for this. I like to keep the stirs for my electrolyte separate from other stirs. And it doesn't need a lot of speed. It doesn't even need a lot of time. Um, some I know leave stirs on overnight, but I found if I just stir it, for around an hour. As you can see, it's not breaking up very easily. But when I come back the next day, whether or not I've left the stir on, the salt is dissolved pretty well into the solvent mixture. When it's done, it'll look like a clear liquid that I can then use in my coin cells.